Unit Testing and Testing Inside of Django. In this section, we'll be learning about why testing is important, how Django handles testing, how to test models, how to test views, and how to test your entire application or project together at once. Why testing is important. In this video specifically, we'll be learning about what testing is, how unit testing can help your project, and common excuses or complaints against writing unit tests. So what is testing? According to Wikipedia, unit testing is a software testing method by which individual units of source code, sets of one or more computer program modules together with associated control data, usage procedures, and operating procedures are tested to determine whether or not they are fit for use. To summarize the Wikipedia article, unit testing is essentially writing very simple code that runs code you've already written. In the case on this slide, we have one function called add underscore one that's being tested by the test class very simple test. Very simple test has one method called test underscore add underscore one, which simply runs the function add one and stores its value and return value. We then use a specialty method called assert true that checks to make sure return value equals six. The reason we write test code like this is so we can make sure the function works properly. We can check that add one, when given the value of five, does return the value six. Of course, simple test cases like this aren't all we use it for. Of course, simple test cases like returning six aren't all we write tests for. We can also check for edge cases. Maybe it's a way a user is misusing our code or misrunning our code, possibly providing it with the wrong types of input values. Unit testing allows us to check for edge cases like that, which can cause us to rethink how our code runs and possibly even rewrite part of it to run better or work better or be a more consistent API. Most importantly though, testing's automated. So once you write one test, you never have to rewrite it again unless your function changes. That means whenever you go to deploy your code or to make sure it works, you don't have to manually retest everything. You could just run your test case and it would test the function for you. Test cases can be rerun much quicker than we can manually retest a function for every test case and edge case that we can think of. So why test? In my opinion, there's two workflows whenever you're writing code. When you're not testing, you have to make your change to the source code Start your run server, open a tab or open your browser and go to the right URL. Navigate to the page your code is being used on, possibly going through different logins or different systems to get there. Then manually test the code that's being used. And then manually test every edge case for that code as well. This can take minutes, if not a half hour or an hour to do to work through the entire sequence every time. Even for the most minor change, you'll need to go back in and retest that in every edge case. Whenever you're using testing, it's much simpler. You make a change, you write a test, and then you run the tests. You can write one or more tests if you're creating brand new source code to map out every little edge case you can think of. But once you do that the first time, every time you make one change, you only have to update your test to reflect if that change breaks your tests. From then on out, all you have to do is rerun your test suite. This usually only takes a second, if not less. In my opinion, it's much smoother and much faster than manually testing all of your code every time. Testing also has a number of other benefits. For instance, it allows yourself and other people that you're working with to make changes to your code that doesn't break other changes. These types of tests are often called integration tests, where you test multiple points of your own code at the same time to make sure everything's working the way it should be together. Testing also works as amazing documentation for yourself or for other people that don't understand what your code's supposed to do. Whenever you write test suites, you map out exactly how your code's supposed to be used and how it's supposed to return. Testing can also sort out edge cases. I can't count the number of times I've been writing testing code and then think, well, what if a user passes in this value instead? That would break the whole program. Then I'm able to go back and change my source code to cover that spot, and we never even have an issue with it in production. And lastly, it improves onboarding time whenever you bring other people into your project. But we also hear a lot of people talking about why they don't write tests or why they don't think they need to write tests. 
Let's look at some of the most common reasons people say they don't need to test. At my company, we have a QA department. Well, that's great. Having a QA department only improves the value of testing. Now you have two departments making sure your code works and is testing it. Writing tests also relieves your QA department of doing regression testing. Now you don't have to make sure old problems aren't cropping up again. Your testing suite will do that for you. That lets your QA department search out new bugs and new edge cases. Trust me, they'll be thankful. Tests and unit tests are too time-consuming to write and can be too hard to maintain. That's true. Writing tests can be hard, especially when you're first starting out. And if you change your source code a lot, you will have to rewrite some of your tests eventually. This is why I usually recommend writing tests while you're writing your actual code. Then you don't have to have a huge backlog of test suites written. You can look up more information on this methodology by looking up TDD, or Test Driven Development. Lastly, the most common excuse I hear is I don't need to test because I'm a good developer. Well, that might be true. We all think we're good developers until everything breaks. But at least if you are a good developer and you're testing, you can now run your test suite to find out exactly where everything stopped working. This has happened to me multiple times before, and it's actually one of the things that got me to start working on unit tests. If you want some more resources on testing, I'd highly recommend any of these three. The first link is a link to a blog post that goes over why unit testing isn't always a good idea. It brings up some of the major pitfalls of it, and it has a good explanation of why these aren't necessarily good excuses either. The second link, obeythetestinggoat.com, is actually where I learned to start using unit tests. It's written by Harry Percival, another prominent developer in the Python Django world. He goes over everything from the most basic types of unit tests, clear through to functional and integration testing with continuous integration environments like Jenkins and Tox. It is an excellent and, in my opinion, the go-to source for how to write tests with Python and Django. And lastly, a Stack Overflow question posted a few years ago about arguments for and against writing unit tests. Some of the users provide excellent examples of when not to write unit tests and when it simply isn't feasible or useful to write unit tests anymore. All of these resources are excellent in their own right, and I highly recommend that you review them at your leisure.